attack comes out. He digs deep. It's what you dream about when you're a little kid. You, uh, you go up watching these Tour de France and you hope that you can one day ride it. Two or three seconds on the line. But uh, select a select few people that get to ride Tour and uh, you don't get much bigger than that. Adam has uh, come this year 23, but he came in the team when he was really young. So, um, yeah, he promises a lot. Yeah, he, that's something I think you know. He's one of our future uh, stars, I think. But I think he's just a young, a young kid with, with a lot of ambition to make his passion his work. I can imagine what's going through his head. All the big guys for the Tour are ready, so the Dauphiné it's not, it's not an, an, an easy race, it's a hard race. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you train and you prepare for the, for the event, you know, months and months in advance, so um, I'm quite, I was always quite confident of uh, stepping up, maybe not, you know, getting results straight away, but I was always confident in my preparation and, and the training, and you know, you, you do everything you possibly can to arrive at the, the level required. And hopefully, I can put a good, on a good show here, the Dolphin Eight. It's a big jump going from one of the best under 23s in the world to being one of the best riders in the world, and that's what you've got to be if you want to be a world-class climber. So Adam's made a very fast progression, uh, and he's tracking very well, uh, especially at his age, at, at 23 years of age, to be so competitive with the world's best climbers. It's, uh, it's been a great progression for us. Oh, probably one of the most talented riders I've ever worked with. Yeah, just a really, really strong rider already at, uh, at such a young age. It'll be interesting how far he can go in uh, like Grand Tours. I think it's only the start for him, you know, the one day classics have really shown that he can win those. Yeah, obviously he just needs to kind of find himself a little bit in the GC, but I think it's going to be quite interesting. You know, he's, he's got a lot of fight in him, so I can see him being up there with the GC boys one day too. A lot of time you are doing everything you can to, to improve and get better, but it's just that hard work and dedication. A lot of time you can't teach that. You just gotta get out there and just give it everything you've got. But when we're on the bus before the stage, you know, I'll have a few coffees, have a chat with lads, you know, and go through the plan for the day. You know that climb? Uh, the, the first category climb will be the, you know that one? Once you know the plan, you, you know what you're supposed to do, where you're supposed to do it, well, guys, and you know that will actually do quite a bit. I guess the ultimate dream is the one you have when you grow up as a kid. I always imagined myself as uh, winning the tour. It's a hard task. So hopefully I can get up there and just try my best. We'll see what we can do. This stage actually is a stage uh, that fits him the best from all week for Adam. If you do a good Dauphiné and you don't uh, come sick after so you stay healthy, I think he's ready to do a good tour. It's just, it's a different lifestyle, you know. Um, you, you'll hear people complain about how hard it is, how much suffering you have to do, but at the end of the day, we ride a bike for a living, and uh, I find that quite, that's, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> if you want it, you gotta commit, you know. You gotta show that hard work and dedication. 
and you'll get there eventually if you've got the passion for it. It's just getting out there and putting it all online. When you get out there, I think you got to dream big. You know, sky's the limit.